Hello friends. Now in the last class we had discussed about lipolysis. Today I'll be taking a very important topic again lipogenesis. Now I told you metabolism is what catabolism and anabolism. So last class may we studied about catabolism of fats which was known as lipolysis. Lipolysis which was wholly solely the prerogative of the mitochondria. Now lipogenesis as the name suggests genesis is formation of what? Of lipids is lipogenesis. So how do we define lipogenesis? Lipogenesis is defined as the process of formation of fats. Right. Now what are the major steps of lipogenesis? First of all, there are certain points which you should know. The site where this process occurs. Then since site is, it occurs in the cytosol. And lipolysis, the oxidation occurs in the mitochondria. So obviously, if any fatty acid has to undergo the synthesis, it has to be transported from the mitochondria to cytosol. Or you can say, just say you studied in lipolysis also. Lipolysis, my first step I told you, lipolysis means fatty acid, which is being synthesized in the cytosol when it has to undergo oxidation. It has to be transported from the cytosol to the mitochondria. Now, first of all, precursor of fat is acetyl coenzyme A. This acetyl coenzyme A, which is already present in the mitochondria, where it is a substrate for TCA cycle. So this acetyl coenzyme A, since it is a precursor, it has to be transported from the mitochondria to the cytosol. Now, once it enters in the cytosol, then only it will undergo the process of lipogenesis. Now, the major disadvantage of this acetyl coenzyme A is that it is impermeable to the mitochondrial membrane. It is impermeable to the mitochondrial membrane, which means that it cannot be transported. So now see, basically what is happening is, if we talk about mitochondria, this is the reaction which is taking place. This acetyl coenzyme A is coming from pyruvic acid. It is combining with oxaloacetic acid, forming citric acid. And then this is what is TCA cycle. Now, just now I told you that this acetyl coenzyme A is impermeable to mitochondrial membrane. So, what will happen is this citric acid will be produced and this citric acid will be transported in the cytosol. Once this citric acid enters, it undergoes a very, very important process in the presence of enzyme ATP citrate lyase to get split up into the components from which it was produced that is oxaloacetic acid and acetyl coenzyme A. So this is how we get this acetyl coenzyme A in the cytosol where it has to now undergo lipogenesis. Right. So now, once this acetyl coenzyme A has entered in the cytosol, then it will undergo lipogenesis. Now, so you can say till now, site is cytosol and there is transportation of this acetyl coenzyme A via citric acid, which is also known as citrate shuttle from the, cyto from the mitochondria to the cytosol. And finally, in the cytosol, 
बी गेट आर प्रिकर्सर एसिटाइल को एंजाइम ए नाउ अनदर इंपॉर्टेंट स्टेप इज कार्बोक्सीलेशन ऑफ एसिटाइल को एंजाइम ए कार्बोक्सीलेशन मीन्स देर इज अटैचमेंट ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड और वी आर इंक्रीजिंग वन कार्बन एट एंड द को एंजाइम फॉर कार्बोक्सीलेशन इज ऑलवेज बायोटेन सो द रिएक्शन वुड बी दिस एसिटाइल को एंजाइम ए विल अंडर गो कार्बोक्सीलेशन इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ एंजाइम एसिटाइल को एंजाइम ए कार्बोक्सीलेज टू फॉर्म मेलोनाइल को एंजाइम ए बायोटेन इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर दिस रिएक्शन एंड ऑब्वियसली एटीपी रिक्वायर्ड फॉर दिस रिएक्शन now see what happens is once this melonyl coa is produced it starts inhibiting its own synthesis or you can say increased concentration of melonyl coa will inhibit its own production which is known as product inhibition similarly this enzyme is inhibited by palmitoyl coa but it is promoted by citrate it is promoted by insulin and this process is promoted in the well fed state and decrease during fasting and starvation so this is a very very important step and it is also known as the rate limiting enzyme of lipo genesis very very important now once this melonyl coa is produced the next step is taken over by fatty acid synthase complex fatty acid synthase complex the abbreviated form is fas and it is an example of multi enzyme complex also now see what happens is this fatty acid synthase complex works like a frisbee like this it has two active sites one is pentothenic sh which is also known as acyl carrier protein and the other is cysteine sh so these are the two active sites from where the entire reaction occurs and this is the other you can say functions of this enzyme see jaise for example reduction is there hydration is there because we have to now increase the number of carbon atoms kyunki here there is formation and lipolysis was exactly reversal of this in which there was elimination of the carbon atoms then reduction now this always remember this pan sh accepts melonyl coenzyme a and this cysteine sh accepts acetyl coenzyme a this is how the reaction is occurring now once this melonyl coa is produced then the entire function is taken over by this fatty acid synthase complex and what happens is 
this acetyl coenzyme a is transferred here giving out a molecule of carbon dioxide or you can say condensation occurs condensation occurs which leads to giving out of this carbon dioxide forming this aceto acetyl coa or keto acid coa then after condensation reduction in the presence of reductase enzyme hydration and then again reduction occurs forming butanoyl coa always remember this pan sh once this cycle is over this pan sh is going to accept fresh melonyl coa fresh melonyl coa and again there will be transfer of acetyl coenzyme a to that and the cycle will again start and always remember jaise in uh, fatty acid uh, degradation you saw there were seven cycles to degrade palmitic acid into acetyl coenzyme a so here what will happen there will be seven cycles to produce one molecule of palmitoyl coa you just have to imagine the structure of this pan sh is there cysteine sh is there melonyl coa is transported here acetyl coenzyme a is transported here first of all what will happen is ki there will be transfer of this carbon dioxide will be released and this entire structure will pass from this and it will be transported to cysteine sh now this pan sh would be free to accept this fresh melonyl coa in the end and then again once fresh melonyl coa is there again this will be transferred here undergoing this this cycle and again accepting this until and unless we get the desired number of fatty acids right this is how lipogenesis occurs and this is a very important process which takes place in the well fed state and it is always promoted by insulin so this is what is lipogenesis which takes place in the cytosol in the next class we are going to study the formation of ketone bodies which is again a very very important aspect of metabolism of fatty acids to know more about this kindly subscribe to my channel thanks a lot